Hey guys, my name is Marla, and I'm gonna slap you if you don't subscribe. That sounds really violent. I'm not that violent, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> if only you can smell my breath. It's really good. Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a back to school clothing haul. This back to school video is probably my all-time favorite to like film and to watch when it comes to back to school videos because first off, I get clothes. Second off, yeah, that's about it. To the left of me, I have all of my clothes hung up on my bed. So I'm going to do a haul today. So for those of you that don't know, I'm gonna be a junior this year, so... If you were wondering. I don't think you were wondering. Okay, so starting off, I went to, I organized them by like pants, but maybe I should organize them by like store. Doesn't even matter, man. I'm just gonna go in order. Okay, so starting off, I have pants. I went shopping with my friends and we went into PacSun and I saw these and I just thought they were really cute. They are these like brown corduroy pants. I like thrifting and this is like a pair of pants I feel like I could find if I, tried but i never seem to find and they're always like these corduroy pants always fit weird so i just tried these on and i love them and another thing is my friend bought the same exact pair of pants except in a different color and it was a buy one get one half off so we just split the price in half so it was like 15 bucks cheaper i like this warm brown color warm brown sounds like poop but like it will match a lot of things and it's a good go-to and i also own not that many corduroy pants so gotta build my collection i'm gonna pick my nose I like to sketch like clothing designs because wink wink I like to make clothes But I have been wanting to get a pair of pants where it's like a different color wash at the ankles And I was shopping at this boutique called Hope Avenue and they had them They had the jeans of my dreams and so I tried them on well obviously I tried them on I feel like it's such an unnecessary thing to say They were decently priced and I'm stoked to wear these Um, I feel like jeans are something that I definitely love to shop for because I think just switching up your pants Like there's just a lot of different types of jeans you can have so also i'm going to beauty con this weekend so but i'm wearing those jeans as well to that so it's like a double whammy get to work to school get to work to beauty con two in one then i went to nordstrom and nordstrom is flipping expensive you can blow easily like two thousand dollars on one jacket but I don't do that. There's a blogger that lives here in Utah and her name's Rachel Parcell and she has like a clothing line at Nordstrom and my sister and I, Evelyn and I, we wanted to go check it out. And so we went and there was a lot of cute stuff and one of the items I tried on was this denim skirt. I feel like denim skirts are a hard thing for me to find because they're either like, just like they're too short or they look like a pioneer skirt if they're too long. And this was like the perfect length. So I was really happy that I was able to find like the happy medium. So this was from the Rachel Parcell line from Nordstrom. Would recommend it. Like feels like super good quality as well. Okay, these next pants, I feel like I look like a male. I legitimately look like a male when I wear them. I'm planning on not looking like a male by like dressing it up a little bit more feminine. I don't know. I've never been a big fan of joggers, but I tried these on at Urban Outfitters and they were all of their BDG jeans at Urban Outfitters were $20 off the original price. So they were on sale, but they're these joggers that have like denim pockets and kind of patches. They jog off at the end. Why would they call it jogger? That doesn't make sense to me. These were also super stretchy and they were really comfy. Like they're like almost like a soft material. I think also with like an oversized t-shirt and if I try to do like my makeup a little bit better that day, I could pull it off, so. Also from that boutique Hope Avenue, I got this skirt right here. I thought this would be really cute for skirt or even for, I thought this would be cute for skirt. I am incompetent. Just kidding, I am smart. I was in the honors in the fourth grade, honors math. In the fourth grade, I was smart. Then things changed. I think midi skirts are, honestly, I'm, I love that they're becoming more of like a common thing because they're modest for my preference. And also they're really cute. Like they're comfy and you know that you're like not gonna, you don't have to worry about bending over and flashing anyone. And I think it's really cute when people pair them with like oversized sweatshirts or oversized t-shirts. This next shirt, I kind of regret purchasing, but it was $10 from Urban Outfitters. It was in the sale section. When I went home, I realized that like, I have no clue how to even wear it. So it's this green gingham plaid, whatever you want to call it, shirt. It has these sleeves that kind of cut off like right here. It's kind of an awkward length, honestly. And it's a little tight right here. I feel like I don't have like huge arms. I'm not like swollen anything it's like really tight around here but i'm like i can make it work i'll just stretch it out but then they have these like super long i don't even know what you call it but you just it's supposed to be like a wrap shirt but it just lays weird because like the neck literally like lot like it lays like this when i try to tie it so if you guys have any advice on how to wear this that'd be great so this dress i got from bum 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 whatever you want to call it reminds me of reformation and for those of you that know what reformation is they are so expensive it's like 300 dollars for one dress i love the fit of it it's basically a long maxi dress and there's like a really tiny small slit on the side and it's just this dark green color dark green is probably my favorite color going along with dresses i got another one this one looks like a picnic dress but in the best way possible it's really cute and i when i wore it to church I felt really good, both spiritually and physically. This dress is, uh, once again, it's a midi dress and it's long and it's that kind of like a light red and white 
gingham pattern and then in the front it has it's like a pretty neckline i really like it it's just like a, a whoop it's like a little m i got another dress and it's in another gingham pattern i don't know what is up with that but this was also in the sale section i got it for 19.99 when it's originally 80 i was having a good day at the sale section in urban outfitters so this dress is a lime green color and it's once again that gingham slash plaid pattern and it's a wrap dress and the sleeves are so cute i love this one so much so i think that's it for dresses now i'm going on to t-shirts i'll insert the name of their company up on here because i can't remember it right now but a person in my p.o box i do have a p.o box if you guys want to send me any letters or anything like i read them and i feel like it's a really neat way to like connect with you guys because it's like a physical form like it's a letter it's always in the description box of my videos but someone sent me um a piece from their own personal clothing company and it sounds like they thrift items and then they resell it so they sent me this thrifted t-shirt it says hard rock cafe hollywood and then it says all is one in the back next up is buckle and i went into buckle to find the billabong x summer mckean line got a support my friends and i bought this t-shirt this one's my favorite out of summer mckean's clothing line with billabong i think this one is definitely my favorite it's the one with the skeleton surfing and it says billabong tour 1973 and it's just a colorful t-shirt it's oversized and it's i wore it yesterday and i got a lot of compliments from strangers that like they're just like oh cute shirt and i'm like thank you thank you summer thank you thank you for the compliment they had a bunch of graphic tees and i saw this one and it says johnny cash walk the line i love johnny cash i think i've never my family has never really we've never been like a, even though we live in utah we've just never been country people we've never gotten into country music besides johnny cash when i hear johnny cash's like music like that's really nostalgic for me because like we grow up and that was like popping the johnny cash cd so i just had to get the shirt i got it in a size large and i love it i'm so Stoked to wear it. And then once again from that Hope Avenue boutique. Sorry guys, I'm not categorizing it by store, but I just feel like that's like, there's no point. There's no point anymore. I got actually quite a few band tees, but I listened to all of the bands that I got. I don't, I don't do that. If, I, if I'm wearing a t-shirt and it has a band on it, I listen to that band. I don't know, I feel like that's such a touchy subject, which is so stupid, but I feel like I kind of fall into it too. Like I'm like, if you don't even listen to the band, then why are you wearing the merch? But I don't know, I mean, you do you guys, but I got this Michael Jackson shirt. I love Michael Jackson. I love Michelle Jackson. She kind of seems like really neat. Yeah, my mom went to one of his concerts growing up, which I think is really, like that's, that's brownie point. That's really cool. And then once again, in the Urban After Cell section, I got this Lion King shirt. I got it in a size small, but it just says Lion King. It looks like a shirt you'd buy at Disneyland. I feel like whenever I see like a spec, I think of the Horton Hears a Who me movie. And I'm like, there's like an entire like population on there. And I just like moved it. Like you ever think about that? Cause sometimes I do. So I'm working with ThreadUp on Instagram. So you guys will probably see that. And I'm gonna be doing like an Instagram story haul of all the clothing items that I got. But I'm just gonna include a few of them now. The first one was this North Face jacket. And I saw this on the website for I think like 30 bucks. Anyway, and it feels like really good quality. It's just a good jacket to throw on. And then I got a turtleneck. I think, okay, one of my biggest insecurities is that I have a small head. I do have a small head. I can't, can't deny that. Comment down below if you relate. <laughs> so wearing turtlenecks like makes my head look even smaller because it like it makes my neck disappear so it's just like this floating peanut of a head and then it's like you know i love turtlenecks they i think are just such like a timeless piece of clothing i think turtlenecks look good on girls and guys and they just look good on everyone like i've never seen someone wear a turtleneck and been like that does not look good well it depends on how you style it i don't know if you'd call it corduroy i don't think it's corduroy but it's a brown jacket but i thought it was really cute when i tried it on i got it from savers and it was like really inexpensive i think it was like probably six bucks i saw this right here and i feel like i could style it really well um but it's this i don't even know how to, it's like almost like a champagne looking color and then it has Bell sleeves and it's sheer but i thought it'd be really cute if i got a white turtleneck and then i layered this over almost as like a cardigan and then with high-waisted light wash mom jeans that are slightly ripped and then i got like a really cute belt and then i live out my fashion dreams and that's it sell off into the sunset of instagram <laughs> i got these they're kind of ugly i always like buy these things thinking that like it's gonna be cute and then sometimes it is but sometimes it's just straight up ugly and I, so i can't tell with these if these are ugly or not and i was planning on wearing them to beauty con but then i got different got a different outfit so these boots were made for walking and that's just what they'll do from urban afters i got like two accessories first up is this belt it's really loud it actually though was like really hard to put on like you have to like slip these individually through your belt loops so it kind of takes a while to put on but once it is on it's really cute and i think it'll be worth it and then i got these right here and these are once again those that gingham plaid picnic checkered socks and i think cool socks like i socks are something that i do feel like i notice and whenever someone has cool socks i kind of like assume they are just a cool person then i went to target and i just picked up one thing and it was this blue long sleeve this will be good as like a layering piece or just if i'm in the mood to wear 
a blue long sleeve. And then I got this from Nordstrom and Nordstrom has the, like I was talking about the Rachel Parcel line and I got this for Beautycon. I think I've already been to Beautycon by the time this video is up. So it's not really that big of a surprise. I absolutely adore like neck. I adore necks. They're just so cool. I love giraffes. But I, I really, what I was trying to say is that I really like um, like cool necklines and I really have been loving like the square neckline. But whenever I find shirts that have the square neckline, it just is either too broad on my shoulders or, or it goes like too low in the back. So I was really happy when I found this one where it's still high enough in the back and it's like wide enough on the shoulders for my liking. And it's super pretty and it's just an elegant looking blouse. It's kind of like a vintage looking floral. And then one, once again, last but not least, this is the last like clothing item. This is also from Hope Avenue and it's this denim jacket. I don't know, it's not a very thick denim. Like it's definitely a very pliable denim, very loose. Anyway, super intricate, interesting looking jacket. And then for shoes, I got these from Nordstrom for Beautycon as well. And they're just these yellow slip-on high heels. They're kind of like a greeny yellow. Like if you squint your eyes, they kind of look like a lime green. But if you like open your eyes, it kind of look like a mustard yellow. It's kind of a cool in between, but they're actually really slippery though. Like when I walk on tile, I feel like I'm about to fall to my death. Wish me luck with those. Another accessory that I got that I'm like, I'm just doing this to flex on you guys. I did go to the golf store like a few weeks ago when I was in LA and I got a shirt from there and then I got socks and I want to show you guys the socks that I got. They came in a three pack, but I gave one of them to my friend. Anyway, it looks like a lump, but this is what they look like. They were $30. So expensive, literally $10 a sock. I mean, I was like there, so I just felt like I had to live in the moment and do it. So got these golf socks from Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creature. Okay. And then last, but certainly not least, I didn't buy many shoes because I feel like I just, as you can see, we were at this mall that had like a Nike outlet store and I had was scrolling on Instagram and I followed this like cool photographer and they like had their model in it and the model was wearing these black and white Nike Cortez. But my story time is that I went into the Nike outlet store and I was just like, out of curiosity, I was like, maybe I'll just splurge and get myself like that. That will be like my school shoes. So I went and I like, hey, do you have the black and white Nike Cortez? And he's like, yeah, we do. And then I was like, whoa, this is like really cool. And then he like brought me to them and then they had my size nine and a half and they were on sale for, I kid you not, $35.99. It was just, it was a sign from the heavens that I was supposed to get these, but these were 35 bucks. I think they're just, the Nike Cortez are probably my favorite style from Nike. They just look really vintage and they're really comfy, like really comfy. So that concludes my back to school 2019 junior year clothing try on haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Had fun watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching once again. And also if you guys want, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Marla Catherine and you can see what I post if you're interested in that. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I just reset up my entire camera because I it would be a sin if I didn't share it with you guys. I got this. It is the world's smallest stretch Armstrong. Look at this man. He is shredded. This is my goals. What I strive to look like, okay? For $9.99 at American Eagle. And I just thought it'd be a really good conversation starter if like there's a dull moment or something and I just whip out this little guy from my backpack and be like, hey, wanna stretch with me? Then we will become best friends. That's all I have to say, okay? Now I'm actually done with the haul. Bye guys.